Hello everyone. Um, I want to do a video uh, showcasing a bunch of stuff that uh, I bought it for the uh, 3D printer that I'm building. So um, I'm building a new 3D printer because the current one uh, got damaged by water. Um, it's a long story. So I needed to uh, buy a new bunch of stuff. Uh, new motors, uh, new electronics, uh, uh, and some new gears to uh, change the mechanical part uh, of the 3D printer. Uh, so by doing that I decided even to change uh, what kind of 3D printer I'm building. Um, the current one is looks like a Prusia but it's much much bigger if you see some of my videos, uh, the, the printer is uh, 1200 millimeter by 800 and in height is 600 roughly. Um, of course a bit higher and longer and wider because I have a dual uh, pellet extruder uh, so I need to account for the space of the extruder. Um, the nozzles, all that kind of stuff. So I had to buy new new things for the new design. Uh, I'll try to share the new design in another video. Um, basically, instead of having the, 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 the plate going on the Y direction, left and right, uh, it will be fixed. And uh, the X carriage that goes left and right will be uh, one block so the X carriage will be both the uh, left and right side um, uh, carriages uh, so I'm going to show it uh, uh, on a on a on a design so what I bought it to replace what has been damaged is part of mechanical things so I need to buy a, a new brace brackets, uh, new couplers, you know, um, new wheels for the extruder extruders block, and then I decided to upgrade the motors. So instead of using NEMA 17. I'm going to use NEMA 23 for the uh, Y and X uh, carriages and Z carriage. So uh, NEMA 23 are much stronger. Not only that, but I will use this type of drivers that are attached in the back here, like this and that they have um, mm, the driver is basically built on top of this board and it will attach to the um, GTR uh, with this um, driver extension. Um, I decided to go with M23 because uh, uh, I want a higher speed of printing, 3D printing and a YN I will need to have stronger motors because I will lift the Z axis uh, will be lifted uh, and so I need much stronger motors. Um, these drivers also are uh, interesting because uh, they, they fix some sh um, layer shifting so they're good for this. Uh, with this kind of um, with this kind of um, drivers, uh, I noticed when I bought it that uh, they come with with a screen where you can um, change settings. Uh, but it was very expensive just to add the screen. So since the screen is just good to have it in case you need to fix something locally, I bought the screen separately, right here. And um, I will open if I can. Okay. And they attach 
right here on the, on the board. So this one cost few bucks and instead if you buy the entire thing from one uh, location you pay like ten dollar or something more because you just put the screen on it but the screen is like a couple bucks or something it's ridiculous so I just figured out which screen in where needed and uh, bought it separately I will put all the links of what I bought it uh, below uh, the video so you can check it out uh, for yourself so they go like this I also had to re to put it back the extruder uh, motors so what I have is a pallet extruder dual pallet extruder and uh, to this this motor which is a NEMA 17 5 to 1 gear ratio here the gear I need this because when the pallet goes inside the tube and there is a, a drill bit inside, uh, some pallets get stuck and by getting stuck you get of course problems while printing but uh, I, I broke even the coupler. They basically uh, the coupler got split because th this is a very strong motor. So, I bought a very strong coupler uh, right here that are good enough uh, and strong enough for this service. So I probably will even redesign the extruders even if they just work and they're okay. But I wanted to do a design, a better design. So let me put this down. And uh, where is it? This are uh, this I bought. I had to buy the MOSFETs, uh, so you can basically attach here the uh, heater block heaters for the extruders instead of attaching directly to the board, which which is good safety measure too. But I bought uh, where is it? I can, oh here. So this. Uh, let me open this a second. So, what I plan to do, so right now I have the pallet extruder. It's pretty much similar to a normal extruder instead of using pallet. It has a drill bit that enters a tube, and at the end of the tube, uh, there is the aluminum block there surround the tube and then there is the nozzle so the aluminum block gets heated with a heater uh, resistant like a normal 3D printer but I noticed that the heating uh, the temperature is not uniform if you think about it the block is external to the drill bit which is inside the tube so uh, the heating is in temperature are different from the external side which where the heating comes from the location of the heating comes from from the resistor to the drill bit so you have a difference of few degrees maybe uh, I think it's uh, kind of higher than few degrees but let's see so I, I want to test to use induction heating so this an induction heater so I will attach this to one side to the MOSFETs and on the other side I will attach to with wires of course this goes around the, the tube there is the tube inside the tube there is the drill bit and this one will heat uh, uniformly uh, both the tube and the drill bit and in between those there is the and pallets in the material so it should be uh, a better heating uh, system and uh, solution of course I needed to test this will be a bit longer you know I will make one longer maybe maybe double the size like this something like this um, so and this should be fine to control with with the MOSFET because 
This will be turned on only when the MOSFET receives a signal from the GTR board that it needs to be heated up. And this is a very fast uh, to to heat right away. Uh, of course, this this is the GTR. I need to replace that. It got you know the one that I have. I got completely covered with water, uh, so I need to replace that. And then there are a bunch of other stuff. I will use uh, linear rails. Uh, right now, I had one real li uh, one linear rail per Z, Z axis and then I had a, a two very long um, rails uh, on the X axis to, to make the plate go on left and right. I will remove those and I will have one to make the entire carriage going uh, left and right and then up and down. So I put those and then um, here nothing more. Right now I'm waiting for other uh, things uh, for the heated bed, uh, I might test uh, some uh, some solution that uh, may, might work good, uh, or maybe not, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not required to have um, a heated bed, um, so we'll see that how it goes. So as soon as I have the other the other solution I will I will make a video and what else uh, for now mechanical side um, nothing else uh, because I'm waiting for the other uh, pieces for the 3d printer so I'll, I'll share the, the the design on another video and uh, that's it so hopefully this Nema 23 are going to be strong enough for lifting the entire x-axis with with the two, two extruders which uh, it's going to be very maybe six or seven kilos yeah probably even more probably 10 kilos so I have on the x-axis two of this so this this should work if not I have to step up the motors okay so if you have any question please leave a comment uh, subscribe to the channel and share this video and put turn on the notification and I'll see you on next uh, video thank you bye